Hey guys, just want to start this video with a Patreon shout out to Nathan Everson. Nathan, appreciate the support, my man. Really helps out the uh, channel a lot, helps me get more bags for you guys to review. Uh, I really hope these videos are helping you out. And so big shout out to you, Nathan, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, how's it going? Eddie here with Cornhole Bag Reviews. And today we got the last new bag in the Fire lineup uh, that I have is the Torch by uh, Fire Cornhole. Quick thing, so I do have a Patreon. Link will be below, patreon.com slash cornhole bag reviews. Uh, help support me in the channel, helps me get more bags for you guys, and I do some giveaways and give them back to you guys. So uh, if you wanna support me, go check out the link below. Thanks to everybody who's already done it, it really means a lot. Torch by Fire Cornhole. So this is their first carpet bag. Uh, Fire went out of their way to the carpet bag, got a new template, new size, uh, and new materials. I like that they're experimenting. I like that they're trying new stuff. You know, they're really increasing the range of arsenal. You know, they came out with the incinerators, which is that really nice fast bag. They came out with the Vengeance, which is like a great surefire type bag. And now they have this uh, carpet bag. This is probably the smallest bag in their lineup template wise. So it's, it's a pretty tiny bag. I mean, if you're used to holding, you know, a Vengeance, for example, a Vengeance is like an oversized bag. And I would say this is slightly undersized. Like I think this is slightly smaller than the Vengeance just in terms of template. It's also very thin, especially for a carpet bag. Um, and that lends to the fill. So we'll go into the fill. The fill is that small asymmetrical bead in a carpet. So this kind of lends to kind of uh, the pattern we've been seeing with a, a couple companies coming out with carpet, you know, like the dopes, the, uh, the pink dolphins I reviewed, now these, um, that flat resin forgiving carpet bag but the negative for me is it really struggles in the flop and roll department. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments or messaging you be like, I flop and roll these just fine. I struggle rolling these unless I really backload them and get them to barely roll. And I mean, it goes into, I mean, they're a very floppy carpet, very loosely filled. I mean, I don't know if the fill's just a little heavier so they can get away with less fill in it. But I mean, like if I dump the fill, I mean, there's this much of the bag right now that has no fill in it. I mean, it's a pretty empty, carpet bag, uh, which lends to it struggling to cut and roll. On the contrary, really forgiving, smaller template, really grabs the hole well, super hole friendly, um, and slides up the board super true. And in, I actually, one thing that I've been surprised is I airmail these like really easily. I don't know if it's because it's slightly smaller or just a little floppier, but I can really sneak these into holes like on airmail, backside airmails, they just feel really easier for me to airmail for some reason, not exactly sure why. But I went into flop, it, it's pretty floppy. Uh, Break-in method on these, I do what I did to most of these synthetic carpets. Uh, you know, I use I use wrinkle guard in the washer and then tumble and then I've just thrown them a ton. They've really broken in uh, pretty quick. The, the original just wrinkle guard just softens them up a little bit and then I use, you know, just throwing to break them in the rest of the way. Uh, speeds on these things, we got, it's basically the exact same as a pink dolphin or a dope. It's got like that four or five speed carpet, synthetic, you know, cross weave, cross stitch carpet in the back. With that soft seven speed, me and Corbin talk about all the time. You know, a lot of bags I've been reviewing lately have this seven speed material on the front. It's a really nice push side, goes, pairs really, really well to carpet. And we've been seeing a lot of companies use it. So in terms of design, you know, the fire design, same one as all the other ones. This one's the blue, uh, with that fire swirl. These are the torches. In terms of like materials though, or like craftsmanship, I mean, obviously corners are great. Closing stitch is really tight to the edges. Materials are great. Template, again, I said it's a little bit smaller. You know, Fire makes a really good bag. Price point, that's where these really stand out. I mean, it's a carpet bag for $59.99 plus shipping. So a carpet bag for under 60 bucks, um, which is ridiculously cheap, uh, especially for a main player in the space. ACL Pro Stamp for under 70 bucks for carpet. It's really difficult to beat uh, in terms of price point. So if you are looking just for a bag that is great when it's fast. Like the boards are pretty quick right now. It, the one thing I really like about this four or five speed carpet, you can be really aggressive on fast boards without the worry of it zooming off the back. You know, like right now, surefires are playing really quick on these boards, you know, so I find when the boards are this fast, especially in the fall right now with the wind, there's really no humidity. I end up going to one of these like neutral carpet kind of things if I just still want to play like a slide block push style, just because it really slows down and stays true to that four or five range. It doesn't zoom off the back on me while still being hole friendly. So that's definitely one of the things that I like about this bag in particular. So let's throw some shots. Again, we're going to be going for that nice forgiving slide up the board. You know, I spent a lot of time in warm up today, practicing backloaded rolls and whatnot, really trying to see if I could roll these things, really struggling to get a roll. But there, I mean, these are just a really nice, you can stay aggressive, slide in carpet, still very friendly. Oop. 
a little bit left. But again, I mean, they slide true. You don't have to stay super flat. And I, and I think the more of these carpets that I've tried, more of these, you know, non bouncy carpets, especially now that the weather's getting really quick, like I was just saying, like I found that kind of their sweet spot is shots like that. I threw it a little too far, a little too close to the hole on a really fast board and I didn't get punished. Granted that one I threw a little harder, but I didn't really get punished. You know, so I mean, if you're looking for a bag, if you're a lower thrower, you wanna be able to stay aggressive, even when the boards are fast, this like synthetic four or five speed forgiving carpet, flat resin carpet is a really forgiving block push bag without, you know, because if you're going into non-carpet to get something this slow um, for these faster boards, you know, you're getting into that like almost like suede or reverse suede area. It's really hard to find other materials that are this slow that you could stay aggressive when your surefires and all that material is rolling quick. So this fast side will still go out there. I'll push here. Miss a little left. But again, these, these slower, or not slower, the smaller template of these bags, I would say it's a positive and a negative. Um, positive, airmail's easy, um, falls in the hole really easily. Negative, in the hand, it feels a little droopy, a little tiny. And sometimes, like ones like that, that was the left. But sometimes, like, you can kind of slide right by the hole. And the perk of, holy mackerel, that was not good. The perk of some of the bigger templated bags, oh my goodness, left, right, and Corbin. All right, let's act like that round didn't exist. Um, but sometimes the negative of something this small is like, when you slide by the hole, there's not a lot of fabric to catch and grab. So sometimes they don't kind of just like catch and sneak in like you would get with some other templated bags. Um, again, I've been enjoying my time throwing these just because I can stay low and aggressive. I don't have to baby anything. Nice little block. We'll go, go fast side, try to push here. Oh, wow, it snuck around. So, I mean, you, you can do shots like that too. That fast side, really hole friendly. It's the same as the dopes, pink dolphins. It can slide in and around really well. You know, again, let's see if I can lay a block here. That's a little left. Still a good block. I'm gonna go for an airmail. Ooh, nice. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I just really enjoy airmailing these. Oh, did I really miss right? Oh, it's such a nice push. And I missed left. Pushed it in. Started the round so good. Laid the block I wanted, air milled, and threw terribles. We'll go one more down back. But again, I don't know why I feel so comfortable air milling these. But they just, I don't know if it's because they're so small. They just kind of sneak in. There's a nice little block. All right, we're going uphill. Let's go for another air mill. Oh, that's short. A little short. Go for another block. That one's slipping. All right, one more air mill. A little short. Going uphill is definitely different than going downhill with the wind, but. Overall, I really like what Fire's doing. You know, they came out with a Vengeance, which is very similar to a Surefire, slightly slower, but really fun bag to throw. Came out with an Incinerator, which really fast, but crazy hole friendly. I didn't think I'd like it with that big template. Really nice bag, I actually really enjoy throwing it. And now a carpet. You know, they're giving their players, you know, a lot of different options to choose from. They're giving the buyers affordable options to try different things. We'll go for a push here. Oh, I'm gonna miss right. Darn. I wonder if I could just grab it with the carpet. Oh, oh right. You know what, screw it. We'll do one more down back. That wasn't very good. I still got stuff to say. But I think giving the consumers, you know, more options and that $60 price point, I think they're really trying to Really trying to expand their collection of bags, which I think is really cool. You know, they're trying new materials, they're trying new fills. You can tell they're really trying to branch out there. You know, they have a couple, they had a couple successful bags last year. Players really being successful with those bags. They didn't just stick to that. You know, they didn't just stick to the controls and the assaults. They listened to what people said. You know, they tried a smaller template. They got into some other materials. They tried some new fills. I really like that they're trying to do that. Oop, a little left. There we go. Airmail. Oh no, that was terrible. All right, one more airmail. That's short too. I love how I said I like airmailing these and I think I airmailed worse than I do in most videos. But that's how it goes when you turn the camera on. <laughs> Torch by Fire Cornhole. 
again, I really like that they're trying new things. You know, I, I wouldn't say it's my favorite carpet bag because I'm really getting into that flop roll. It's a really good forgiving carpet bag, very similar to a dope, a little bit less full than some of even the forgiving carpet bags, a little more full than this. So if you like something really floppy, really thin, and again, you, you just want to play, if you're into like a really floppy, Surefire type bag, slow speed bag, and you're like, Surefires are too quick. This could be a good option for you. Similar sizing, similar floppiness, you know, st can stay aggressive. It doesn't punish you too bad if you miss. You know, lays good blocks, but still pretty hole friendly. That fast side, it's really nice, plays really well. So, if you guys like this, please, if you guys like these reviews, please like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, appreciate you guys always supporting me and stopping by for these videos. Support means a lot, but I'll catch you guys in the next review and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys.